How much do you know about New Zealand's national bird, kiwi? Hmm, perhaps a strange bird without wings and shaped like a kiwi? More than that, kiwi has all sorts of weird things that you wouldn't expect when describing a bird. It has wings, but it's too small to help it fly. It has nostrils at the end of its beak, so it has a good sense of smell. It's the only bird to have no external tail. It has shaggy plumage that is more like hair than feathers. And for goodness sake, it has whiskers like a cat. Don't worry, it's just my doodle. And here's the actual photo of a kiwi. Pretty cute, isn't it? And this is its nostril. Kiwi are flightless birds endemic to New Zealand. There are five species of kiwi. Brown kiwi, this one is the most common kiwi species. Little spotted kiwi, the smallest of the kiwi species. Great spotted kiwi, the largest of all the kiwi species. Rawi, this is the rarest of all the kiwi species, with only one natural population of around 450 birds. And Tokueka, are unusual among kiwi for being active during the daytime. Unlike most birds, kiwis have heavy bones filled with marrow. Their powerful legs make up a third of their body weight and allow them to run as fast as a human. Does this remind you of ostriches? That's right! Kiwis are members of a group of birds called ratites. These are defined as having no bone structure to anchor their wing muscles and, so even if they had flight wings, they still would not be able to fly. Other members of this group of flightless birds are ostriches in Africa, emus and cassowaries in Australia, rias in South America, and New Zealand's extinct moas. The kiwi is by far the smallest ratite. Another interesting thing is that kiwi eggs are just as impressive as ostrich eggs. If the ostrich lays the largest egg of any bird in the world, the kiwi lays the largest egg in relation to the size of its body of any bird in the world. An ostrich egg weighs 2% of the adult female ostrich. A kiwi egg weighs an eye-watering 20% of the adult female. This is equivalent to a 60 kilogram mother giving birth to a baby weighing 12 kilograms. That's the normal weight of a two-year-old baby. Kiwi birds also put a lot of energy into incubating its huge egg. With a body temperature at 38 degrees Celsius, is 2 degrees lower than other birds. It takes around 80 days for them to hatch. This is more than twice the typical length of time for birds, closer to the gestation period of small mammals. With all that thorough preparation, kiwi chicks hatch fully feathered and independent, which is very unusual for a bird. Adult kiwis don't need to feed their young, as they are born with nutritious yolk sacs attached to their bellies. This yolk sustains the chicks for their first 10 days of life. After that, they are ready to forage for their own food. Despite being able to fend for themselves, some young kiwi will stick around their parents' territory for up to a year or more. Even some species of kiwi can stay with their parents for several years, helping to raise their siblings but only about 5% of kiwi chicks hatched in the wild survive. Roughly 90% of kiwi chicks born in the wild die within 6 months, with around 70% killed by predators such as stoats and cats. Losing this many kiwi chicks means unmanaged populations are declining by around 3% every year. Without the work of the National Kiwi Hatchery Aotearoa and other organizations around New Zealand, we could lose all wild brown kiwi within two generations. Why does this terrible thing happen? The answer is that humans brought those predators to New Zealand. Before humans came, in New Zealand, the only mammals that survived were three species of bat, given no competition from ground-based mammalian life, and that the forest floor contained copious amounts of food. The forest floor was open for exploitation, that is why some bird species here, such as the kiwi, behave like mammals. Bizarrely, even the bats walk on the forest floor as they hunt for grubs. This unique history makes New Zealand a really special place. In an inspiring story of community action, community and kiwi-led groups around New Zealand have pulled together to help protect the kiwi. 
an area of around 230,000 hectares is actively protected by ordinary New Zealanders, an area that is close to the amount of Kiwi conservation land protected by the Department of Conservation, or DOC. The protected areas include predator-free islands, fenced predator-free zones, and closely managed wild Kiwi populations. Today, the Kiwi is the national symbol of New Zealand. The bird is prominent in the coat of arms, crests, and badges of many New Zealand cities, clubs, and organizations. At the national level, the red silhouette of a Kiwi is in the center of the roundel of the Royal New Zealand Air Force, and even featured on the reverse side of coins. Alright guys, that's it. If one day, you have the opportunity to go to New Zealand, don't forget Kiwi. You can see Kiwi birds at wildlife enclosures throughout this beautiful country. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.